receipt. The Octa map shows that we're here, in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, yes. Well, I have my own map of these waters. Excellent, Quasi. A good map helps you to get to places you've never been. Yes, and a secret map helps you get to places you didn't know were there. Hmm. Where did you find it? I dug it up on Catspaw Island back in me pirate days. Yeah. Hmm. This map is very old. Aye. And this map has a tale to tell, Professor. Listen, me hearties. A proud ship once sailed across these waters. The ship carried a precious golden jar. Then there came a terrible storm and the ship sank to the bottom of the sea. There it lay until a scary sea monster made the wreck his home. He guards the golden jar to this very day. If you go looking for it, mateys, you must beware of the eight-headed sea monster, for he'll challenge anyone who comes too close. Yow! <laughs> <clears> hmm. <throat> There's no shipwreck or um, sea monster on the Octomap. Ha <laughs> ha! Pirates don't put their secrets on anybody else's maps. In fact, there are many things under the sea that aren't on anyone's map yet. And the Octonauts are out to find them. Who's with me? Quasi, sound the Octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, our mission is to find out if there's any truth to Quasi's old map. I'd like to photograph that golden jar. I wonder if it's still there. If we can find the shipwreck, Dashy, then we can look for the golden jar. And the sea monster! Dashy, Peso, you'll come along with Quasi and me. Okie dokie, Cap. Oh. We're ready to test the grabber. Quasi told me that the life of an octonaut is really exciting. Oh, it is. As a medic, I... Do you search for sea monsters like Quasi? Uh, well, here, let me show you what I do. I... And Quasi says that an octonaut has to be prepared for anything to happen. That's true. You want to try doing something that I do? I'm ready for anything. All right, then. Here's a real challenge. Bandaging. We'll practice a combination bandage. A flipper sling and a rib wrap. Now you try it. I want to learn how to be an octonaut, not a medic. But I'm an octonaut and a medic. I mean a real octonaut, like Quasi. Ready for action. Oh, I have to be ready for action too, you know, in case someone gets hurt. <laughs> Quasi! Wait! <laughs> Is the ship under attack? No, but it is time for lunch. Here you go, matey. <laughs> Last one there for your rotten fish egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The Octo Alert. Octo Alert to the HQ. Captain, what's going on? We've just received a call for help from the Guppy. Captain Barnacle's here. Go ahead, Dashy. Captain, we seem to be stuck. Can you locate us? Uh-oh, Cap. We've lost radio contact. Dashy and Shellington are stuck, and we've got to get them unstuck. Hmm. I wonder what they're stuck in. We'll find out when we get to them, and we need to get to them fast. Can I come too? Oh, please, 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 please! No, it might not be safe. Your big brother's right, Pinto. You better stay here with the Vegemals. 
I'll tell you all about it when we get back. Captain! And if anybody gets hurt, you can count on me. Can have a head start next time, but I'll still win. <laughs> uh, uh, just let me get turned around here. Give me a push, will you? Aye. Uh... Yow! Buzzy, are you all right? Aye, Captain, but I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me, or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the Vegimals. The orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, we'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my pod calling to me. Oh no, all of the orcas are heading straight for the beach. Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. So, did you find a creature nobody's ever seen before? Ah, uh, no. I didn't find anything new to put on my empty pages. I wish we'd found something big and scary, like a giant fishopotamus. Well, we did find this interesting rock with holes in it. Ah. Hey. Wow. Ah. I think there's something alive in here. Where am I? You're on the octopod. Huh? My house. It's broken. No worries, little guy. We can put your house back together faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Okay, but hurry. I'm freezing. And this light hurts my eyes. 
You live in the midnight zone, where it's always dark, and the hydrothermal vents are very hot. The octopod must seem very strange to you. Oh, I want to go home. Tweak will fix your house, and then we'll take you home to the midnight zone as fast as we can. In the meantime, we'll do our best to make you more comfortable. How's that? Warm enough? Dark enough? Better. For now. Thanks. First, we have to work out how the tunnels connect to each other. Give this a try. <laughs> Wrong. Okay, let me try again. Wrong. Hold on. Yeah. That ought to do it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. The holes don't line up. I keep bumping my head. Don't worry. We won't give up until we've worked it out. <sighs> you know, we've been looking at this problem from the outside. But we need to take a look from the inside. I bet Dashie can help us. With this tiny video camera, we'll be able to see your tunnels from the inside. I call it the worm cam. Ready? Ready! Dead end. The holes are still not lining up. Another dead end. Perfect. I reckon that scurvy thief is around here somewhere. I'll find him with me spyglass. Ah, seaweed! Yeah. Oh, now I can't see a thing. Here, use my binoculars to look for anything unusual. Aye, Captain. Tweak, come with me. We'll search the other side of the octopod. Where's that thief? <laughs> My spyglass! Captain, the thief strikes again! <sighs> I've had that spyglass since my pirate days. The thief couldn't have gone far. Aha! A trail! <laughs> Ah, we've lost the trail. Whoa, I bet there's a lot of places in this reef for a thief to hide. I'll look under every rock until I get my spyglass back. Hold on, Quasi. This thief is sneaky, so we'll have to be sneakier. If he sees us coming, we'll never be able to catch him. So, we'll have to make sure he doesn't see us coming. We're going after the thief, but we don't want him to be able to see the Gup A. How can you help us, Tweak? I've got just the thing. Camouflage. Push that button, Captain. Oh! Camouflage helps the Gup look like the rest of the ocean, so no one will see you. We'll look just like the rocks and the seaweed. And if you need even more camouflage, press that. Understood. Thanks, Tweak. Quasi and Peso. Prepare to launch. Captain, I'm fully prepared for any emergency. Yeah. Tweak, open the octahash. Right away, Cap. The trail disappears under that rock. Let's keep a lookout. The thief has to be around here somewhere. That plant just took a walk. Over there. Look! Follow that plant! He's got my spyglass! Let's do this! Oh! <gasps>
the fish biscuits. How nice to have them for the trip. Thank you, Vegemals. One more won't hurt. <laughs> Whoa, Vegemals. I think that's all the biscuits we have room for. <sighs> Prepare for launch. Yow! Open the octa hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, your cousin may be inside one of these caves. Hi, this is the place where he reached out and grabbed us. It looks dark in there. Won't your cousin Irving be scared? Don't worry, Peso. A giant squid has the biggest eyes of any creature in the ocean. It's easy for him to see in the dark. So, we'll go slowly and try to see him before he sees us. Remember, Quasi, we don't want to scare him away. Quasi! Peso, you search that cave and I'll take the other. Aye, Captain. I'll keep a lookout here. We'll call you on the radio if we find your cousin. It's just a little dark down here. Nothing to be afraid of. There's something huge up ahead. Oh, sorry. It's just some big rocks. I think I found him. Ooh. Come on, show yourself. Ow! Ah, it was just a manta ray. Oh. Eh? Octonaut, I may have found the giant squid. Oh. Uh, ah. uh, where does this piece go? Hmm, I think I know. Ah! Yeah. Wazzy, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octomorts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to. Whoa! Oh, my! Whoa. Whoa! What was that shaking, Captain? It felt like some sort of tremor, Peso. An underwater tremor, to be exact. It's caused when the bottom of the ocean starts to shake. And now our ship is tilted. Quasi, Tweak, let's get the octopod standing straight again. Hi, Captain. Sure thing, Cap. There's our problem. The shaking damaged one of the octopod legs. No worries, Cap. We'll have the ship fixed faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Buncha, muncha, crunchy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what be making that strange sound? Look, over there. It's a it's a it's a slimy pink pudding. I'm pretty sure it's a sea cucumber. Ow! 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 <gasps> Rock must have fallen on it during the tremor. Ow. <laughs> We're gonna help you, little fella. We need Peso down here, right away. Ow. 
Peso reporting for medical duty, sir. Don't worry. I'm here to help you feel better. You wanna fix the octopod, Cap? Thanks, Tweak. 